Okay, now, you have your gas pedal. When you push with your feet, well, your feet or your hands, however you drive your car, push the pedal inward. You push that way, and there's a pivot point. This is connected to a pivot point, which makes this part mechanical move that way. So you're pushing in. This pivots this way, which makes this wire move that way. So you're pushing in. This pivots this way, which makes that go that way. And that pulls on over here, which is um, the butterfly. Okay, within your throttle, your throttle um, housing, you have a throttle plate, and it, it's a butterfly valve. And whenever you press on the gas pedal, you press on the gas pedal, you push that way, and the pivot point. There's a pivot point which moves that that way, which makes the wire go this way. And as it's going that way, this part moves this way <laughs> if I can do it on the camera it moves counterclockwise butterfly valve and a butterfly valve it counterclockwise moves open this valve that's inside your throttle throttle body throttle plate and it opens it and it allows more air to go into your engine and when that more air is, goes into your engine, you have various sensors that can pick up on. You have O2 sensor, throttle position, MAP, manifold absolute pressure, mass airflow sensors. You got various sensors that monitor the throttle position, where it's at, like the degrees, and okay, it's at that degree, you know, it's, it's moved this much or whatever throttle position sensors and O2 oxygen sensors and all kinds of sensors or whatever that that look at this and then the ECU your engine's computer says okay we got some more oxygen or whatever we got some more air coming in well it's mostly nitrogen but more air coming through coming in so it sends a signal the computer sends a signal to the uh, fuel injectors to pump more or old-fashioned carburetors or whatever more well, mostly fuel injectors now to pump more fuel spray more fuel in and that's how it works so when you press on your pedal you're pretty much allowing more air it's not really a gas pedal it's kind of like a, an air pedal you're letting in more air in and various sensors tell the computer hey this is going on the computer is like okay we're going to have some for fuel, we're going to have some fuel squirt in there. So you have your air and fuel go into your combustion chamber. And then, boom, you got your spark plug. If it's diesel, you don't have a spark plug, but you have just combustion. So that's how, that's what happens when you press your gas pedal. This is the uh, old fashioned. Various sensors are involved in this gas pedal process. You have your throttle position sensor, which monitors your throttle plate and where it's at. You have your oxygen sensor, your O2 sensor, which monitors uh, the amount of oxygen within the airstream. Your MAP sensor, manifold absolute pressure, pressure sensor, and your mass airflow sensor. That's the volume of air that's moving through. So you have these various sensors that are talking to the ECU, your, your, your computer, one of the computers in your car and there and the computer is connected up to your oh, the um, gas um, oh, fuel injectors the computer is connected up to the fuel injectors which which look hey look there's there's more air coming in here so let's shoot more fuel the, the computer's like okay fuel injectors since there's more since there's more air coming in since the the, the throttle plate we got these various sensors saying, hey, look, this is going on. The plate's opening. There's more air coming in. So that's what's going on. That's your input. So the computer is like, okay, wow, there's more air. So it tells the fuel injectors, you better squirt and spray more fuel 
release more fuel and this ratio of air and fuel this is a stoichiom stoichiometric 16 to 1 16 parts to one part is ideal usually in cars it's between 14 and 21 air and fuel so the more fuel you got the richer it is the more air you got the leaner it is well, yep so in the drive by wire there there are no um, cables it's just all sensors so when you put, push on the pedal these sensors are saying they're sending voltages or whatever to a motor and the motor is connected up to your 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 valve or whatever inside your throttle assembly and it opens so newer cars are moving towards this it's just a process of mechanical turn to electronic so instead of moving your pedal that's connected with these cables that you mechanically when you press on the pedal in the, on, in the end you're opening up a valve where it's at idle it's almost closed a little bit of air is coming in so it can idle a little bit of air comes in a little bit of fuel goes in there so but when you open it, more air comes in, and the computer tells the fuel injector more fuel, so you have more air, more fuel, more power. So, and it means you can run. They can run. So, this whole cable system is eliminated with eliminated with drive-by wire. The drive-by wire, you press the gas pedal, and you're basically you're with the sensors. Sensors, a lot of sensors are involved and you just it's 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 like it's it's electronic so you press it and when you press down on it it's like you're changing the voltage you're changing a voltage and the computers can read all that because you press on it i'm sure that like inside the uh throttle position sensor or whatever the sensors involved in the electronic control that you're changing voltages uh, amps and stuff like that, resistance. So there's there's probably various different ways that it can happen. So you press it down or whatever, and it's all electronic. And then the computer is connected up to the. Uh, it has. It tells the um. Hey, look, you got to open that throttle plate. I so say it's not you that's pushing on it. The computer doing it from the sensors. So, I mean, from the sensors, they got to be connected up physically to the throttle plate. So, but there's a step process in there. There's some delay. So when you press the gas pedal, you know, computers work really fast. They're getting faster and faster. But there's still some delay. So if you floor it, it's going to be like, hey, it's gonna, hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. We're not going to do this, all right? And it's going to take a few seconds. So, eh, some pros, some cons. The idle, um, there's an idle air valve that gets eliminated. That's a good positive thing about this changing to the drive-by wire. This right here is the old system. The mechanical push pedal, it pivots, the wire is that way. The wire is connected up to another wire that moves. It's not a wire, it's a cable. And it opens a valve and it's inside your throttle assembly. It just, it just opens. More air comes in, more fuel gets squirted in. And it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool too. I mean, the same sensors are involved. So, I mean, there's not much change except the cables and stuff like that. I mean, and there's a mo there's motors involved too, which actuate the throttle plate on the electronic control. Well, I hope this helped or whatever. I'll try to make these videos long and enjoyable. And um, hey, yeah, good time. Yeah, in case the uh, the light was in the way, the little butterfly valve, and this is inside the throttle housing. So. A little bit of air is coming in at idle 
And then when that opens this way, a lot of air can go in to your combustion chamber, which the computer tells the fuel injectors, ooh, send more fuel so you have air and fuel coming in.